Hi everyone, I hope you're all good. Recently I decided to paint up some of my terrain that I have laying around. I figured it'd just be nice to have it on my shelves with my armies painted. Wanted to play around with the dirty down moss effects a little bit because I haven't really used it yet and I have a couple of projects coming up in the future that I will end up needing to use it. So I figured I'd give it a try and it pretty much just works the same as a rust, it's just a different colour and it's a really nice product to use. So let's get into it. I start by priming black and I'm coming in with Pro Cross Dark Neutral Grey. I'm just doing a really heavy dry brush over the whole model. And this is just gonna establish some form of a color gradient above black. I find if I don't use the Dark Neutral Grey as an extra step that the color just looks kind of a bit flat. So to add more of a depth to the color of my stone, I just do one extra step and it really doesn't take long at all. And the next step with Warm Grey by Pro Acryl, I'm going to do a lot of sponging and that's over the whole model, doing two or three layers. It's nice and easy, doesn't take too long to do, so it's quite an enjoyable process. And again, a moist sponge, not too wet, you just want it to be slightly damp when you pat it on the back of your glove or hand. And then we're going to finish off the stonework with just a very light brushing of bright neutral grey. And we're going to do one to two layers depending on how much we have loaded onto our brush at the time. The main object of this dry brush over the stone is just to hit all of the highest edges and really make the stone pop. Then we're going to move on to painting the wood and we're going to use Scale 75's Walnut for this. And again, it's just a couple of thin coats, there's nothing crazy, it's just a little bit of thinned down Walnut. It's a really nice paint, it's a really nice colour. When you dry brush over it and then use Agrax Earthshade to darken down the recesses, it really gives a, a quite effortlessly nice wooden effect. I've used darker browns in the past to do wood, but I find I just have to put a lot more effort into bringing up the highlights. So I now go for a kind of medium tone brown. I then do a dry brush of a light color. Then I darken it down with some form of a wash, whether it's a thin down paint or a shade. After painting the walnut, we're just gonna come back in again with a little bit of bright neutral gray by Pro Acryl. We're gonna do a very, very light dry brush just over the wood. It doesn't matter if you catch the areas around it because it's the same color we use to hit the highlights on the stone, so you'll be fine. And this is what we have so far. Nice and easy, not a lot of effort, not a lot of work really. And we're just going to come in with an Agrax Earth shade here and it's really going to make all of the grains between the highlights and the mid-tones just absolutely pop. Remembering to keep a clean wet brush just on hand at all times when you're painting. As you can see there, I just cleaned up a little bit of Agrax that I spilled over the side onto the stone. And for the tiny bit of metal that is on here, I'm just gonna put a little bit of exhaust manifold from Vallejo Metal Color. It's generally quite a nice paint, seems to cover pretty well. Just do one, sometimes two thin coats of it. And now to the main event, which is just testing out this moss effects. So all I'm doing really is just absolutely slapping it on around all of the bottom areas of the stone. I could have put it in some of the other areas above where you can see I'm painting now. There's little recesses and stuff above the arches. I, I could have put it in there, but I kind of just wanted to do a very simple effect as you can see. And I'm just coming in with a damp sponge, dabbing at it. Very lightly wiping it, but mostly just tapping and dabbing at it. This is just gonna create a lot of nice variance within the actual finished result itself. This was a very quick, simple tutorial. I hope you enjoy this and put these little tips to use in your own projects. I'll see you next time.
Thank you for your support.